Hey, this is Brett, and this 2022 Jeep Wagoneer is stock number 22J132. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep headquarters. This 2022 Jeep Wagoneer has the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine with the e-torque assist. It puts out 392 horsepower, 404 foot-pounds of torque, and this one in particular is capable of towing up to 7,180 pounds. It's going to get you 15 city, 20 highway, and an average of 17 miles per gallon. I'm going to go all the way around in this video, show you all the outside options, all the inside options. We'll check out the original window sticker, and we're also going to check out this brand new paint color, which is River Rock Metallic. Paint code is PCG, and uh, really a good looking color. I saw this color and I said, boy, I got to get a video of this one. And uh, let's get started. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. Anyways, you get the seven slotted grill on there, the Wagoneer block lettering on the hood. Of course, everything is LED now with the headlights, the running lights up top, as well as the LED fog lamps, front bumper parking sensors. And we're gonna turn all, all those lights on at the end of the video so that you can check out that, um, how just how bright they are. And we're gonna turn all the lights off in the picture studio. Uh, this one comes with the 20 inch silver litho painted wheels and it comes with Bridgestone Dueler Alenza tires. These are 275 55R20s, definitely a highway tread pattern to them. Now let's check out this River Rock Metallic. It's got a lot of metal flake in it. Really a cool color. Reminds me of Maximum Steel, but it is not Maximum Steel. A little bit of greens, a little bit of blues, even a little bit of purple in there. Really a cool color. I like it. You get the Wagoneer lettering on the side. You also get the nice wide step bars. You also get the Wagoneer on the windshield there. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the original window sticker. This is a Series 1, so it's one of the least expensive Wagoneers you can get. 2022 Wagoneers Series 1 4x4 has a base price of $61,995. River Rock exterior paint, global black interior, Capri leather seats, 5.7 Hemi with e-torque, 8-speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is your standard equipment as well as your interior features. The optional equipment starts with the River Rock exterior paint, which is 645. The premium group, which is 3,495 bucks, gives you the reversible cargo mat, foldable cargo shade, tri-pane panoramic sunroof, the adjustable roof rail crossbars, 20 inch fully painted litho aluminum wheels, and then the 275-55R20 all season tires black sidewall, all season tires, power lift gate with deleted hands free credit is negative 195. Total MSRP on this one is 67,940. If you want to get your summit price with all the rebates and incentives and availability of this Wagoneer in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to that, to our website, to this vehicle. So check that out. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. There is your fuel economy ratings. And then it's not rated for the safety ratings yet, but I'm sure these are pretty safe vehicles. If the Grand Cherokee is any indicator of how they design them to be safe, that's always five stars. Get those roof rails there. The LED tail lamps. Now I do have the receiver hitch cover off of this one. If you want to check out how to get your receiver hitch cover off your Wagoneer, I did a video on that. That's in the upper right hand part of the screen. This one does have the power lift gate. There is your cover. You can see there's actually three releases you have to do. And then uh, these are manual down seats. So they do have straps right here to get these down. And then you have to grab the strap to get it back up. Notice that there is a strap for the uh, passengers if they're 
if you're inside, you can still get these seats down with that strap. Sat comes up like so, and the headrests can go up like that. Uh, you do get a little bit of storage under here, and those are your cross rails, part of the premium group. And this is your sunshade for the windshield, folds up. And to get this gate down, you press this button right here. It'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. Really like the styling and the block lettering on the back of the Wagoneer. Looks really good. Does have backup parking sensors, they're hard to see. LED tail lamps, like I said, we'll turn all those on. And you do get the capless fuel fill. I love that Jeep's gone that way with pretty much all their vehicles. Also notice on the Series 1, the gloss black trim around all the windows. And then the tops of the door handles are also gloss black. And those step bars are nice and wide. And why I like them nice and wide is because when you get into that third row, it's nice to have a very stable area to step on. You get blind spot monitoring, blind spot mirrors, heated mirrors, and built-in directional signals on those mirrors. Inside the Series 1 gives you the black Capri leather seats. Very nice leather. Both these front seats are power, of course. Factory floor mats, auto headlamps, power pedals, power telescopic, and tilt steering wheel. Alpine premium sound system, you get the gloss black. Even the doors are metallic. That kind of looks like granite crystal. Probably what it is, memory driver seat. I'll take a quick look at the back seats before we get into the radio and everything. This one has the second row bench seating. You get latch child safety system for any child car seats you have. There's a cup holder area right here in the center. Uh, back here you get rear air controls. You also have a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, two USBs, two USB-Cs, and then a 12 volt power point back here as well. Get some nice floor mats. So now these seats go down two different ways. So the first way is just the back, the whole backrest and everything goes down like that. If you want to put it into like a cargo mode where the third row is down and this is down, then you have a nice flat area to, um, to tow or to store everything. But then this button up here electronically releases this and then it slides forward so that you can get to that third row nice and easy. And this is where I like those wide step bars. It's easy to get in to the back of these. And there's plenty of leg room. I'm six foot, you can see that you can sit comfortably back here. And then with those straps I just showed you, you can actually recline these seats. So pull that and see that they recline nicely. So you could be very comfortable. It has the third row um, fixed glass roof back here. So at night you can just kind of lean back, watch the stars as you go. There's also a USB and a USB-C charging point back here. And uh, that's pretty much it back here, but really nice. And once again, getting out of the vehicle, Nice having a wide step bar to stand on. These seats go back like that, and then you can adjust them manually and they slide back like that. You can also recline these seats and you can see how much they recline. So that's pretty sweet too. Same trim on the back doors. You do get child safety locks on the back doors as well. Here's the tire and loading information sticker. And then we'll check out the VIN sticker as well. So you can see the gross vehicle weight rating and all that good stuff. We'll hop in, check out the miles, the radio. Don't forget, we're gonna be doing the LED lights at the end of this video. Here you have the 10.25 inch screen with uh, 
all your information on here. You have oil life, gauge summary, fuel economy, start stop, and all that good stuff. And then you have all your different apps you can do on here, as well as the digital speedometer, outside temperature display. You get the compass there as well. You get the heated leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel. Really, really a chunky steering wheel. You get the Wagoneer uh, logo there, looks really good. Uh, information center controls, Bluetooth, cruise controls, gear selector on there as well. And then you have the big touchscreen radio. Let's see if I can get that on. I think it was on. <laughs> there we go. So you can see this is the Uconnect 5 system and uh, really a nice big display on here. This is the 10.1 inch display and uh, you get your home screen, obviously the factory navigation system, your Sirius XM radio capabilities. You can add a phone. It has um, all your different settings here for your comfort, including your heated and cooled seats and your heated steering wheel. Uh, you have more tactile climate controls right here. You get a storage bin in here. And uh, start-stop capabilities, stability control, parking sensors, tow haul. Uh, then you have your Quadratrack 1 system with the sand, sand, mud, snow, auto, and sport mode. Your 8-speed automatic transmission, your keyless entry with remote start and power liftgate button right there. And then you have all your different apps up here as well, including Android Auto, where you can project your cell phone to the screen. Uh, you have off-road pages, which are pretty cool. We'll check those out here. So you have your steering angle, and as you turn the wheel, you can see that that changes. You have your transfer case, whether it's locked or unlocked. You have your accessory gauges, your pitch and roll, and your select terrain. So if I change the... Uh, settings on here with this knob you can see that it changes the screen up there and it obviously changes your four-wheel drive settings as well then you get sport mode and i'll give you the drag strip there also note it has latitude longitude and your altitude right there so that's a lot of really cool stuff um, as well and then i did want to show you if i can get it on here without starting the vehicle up the uh, backup camera there we go because, oops, because they've made these nice and clear, which is great to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time. And then you can even zoom in on your receiver hitch. So that happens every time. Also note, you have your different um, heated and cooled seat buttons here on the side. And uh, as far as comfort goes, Yeah, I think that's that's just all they can do. So, anyways, lots of great stuff on the Wagoneer center console there. has a USB and a USB-C. You also get a nice deep storage bay. That granite crystal trim is on the dash as well. Close nicely into the door. And then your panoramic roof. So the second row is fixed, and this one is a power. You get assistant SOS buttons up there, map lights, and home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems. You also get the auto dimming mirror. So as promised, I'm going to turn on all the lights, and then we're going to do a walk around with all the lights off in the picture studio so you can see just how nice and bright they all are. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. And hopefully from this HD video, you'll have gotten a really good idea of the overall look, styling, options on this particular Wagoneer. So give me one second. I'm going to turn all the lights off in the studio. And then we'll do our final walk around. All right. You can see just how nice and bright all those lights are. They look really good. The LEDs are super bright. 
and uh, you can see just how well they illuminate in front of the vehicle and they look really good at night as well. The other thing to note is that you get the Wagoneer lighting from the mirror, so that is pretty cool. The taillights are LEDs as well as are the license plate lights. So really a good looking vehicle, River Rock, one of my new favorite colors, 4G. And once again, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something about the Wagoneer. And if you learned anything or enjoyed the video or both, uh, give us a like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. And to see more pictures of this Jeep Wagoneer Series 1 in River Rock or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, you name it, we gotta go to that website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wagoneer videos that I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering the 2022 and the 2023 Jeep Wagoneer. And uh, thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it.